my scrappy friends and we have done it it is day number 24 this is my final tutorial video for this scrappy advent series and i have had a blast i have been so thrilled to be making these with you and along with you uh, and i cannot wait to keep working on katie's album without the time restrictions of getting it done within these 24 days so as you can see here, I have taken a um, six by eight insert. I've bought it off the one on the other side because the photos are just a little bit smaller and I needed to cover the original print that was on um, this insert because it was the month, I think it said April. And this one is plain black. So this one I don't need to border off, but I wanted to add that super cute like pom-pom trim because it is fun and why not? So I have added on a little bit of that. I tried gluing that pom-pom trim with wet glue, but for some reason it just did not stick at all. Now I thought that would have stuck better than my ATG gun, but according to me, I'm completely wrong because my ATG gun is holding like a star and the wet glue just pulled straight off. So there you have it. This layout also comes with this extra little bit as well, which is a bit smaller than a four by six size card with that little scalloped edge. Now that scalloped edge, I just cut by hand. It's not perfect, but it looks cute. And you can see that I've put the journaling on here as well as a little chipboard star, the number eight. And now I'm adding some chipboard shiny sparkly golden hearts just to add a bit more embellishing to this page. So this little scalloped four by six is just two pieces of cardstock back together because the Coco Vanilla Studio collection that I'm using is not double sided. Um, so I didn't want white on one side so I just picked two cardstocks that I liked um, that I wanted to use I kind of went with one a little bit more busy than the other but I'm not sure why because I've now just covered the whole lot so no real um, purpose behind that I just picked cute ones then I'm putting on the one little photo that goes with this collection or oh, this day this um, group of photos should we say this story and then I am embellishing it, as you can see, just using those chipboard thickers to add a little bit of dimension and rolling along. Katie has tricked me with this particular layout. On the back of the photo, she said that it is story number seven, I think. And when I was reading the journaling, it said it was story number eight. So I don't know if it's supposed to be story seven or story eight, but I just picked number eight. It worked for me, so that's what I went with because story number six is the Christmas tree story and it kind of already has a little insert. So I'm hoping that story seven will be able to be in like a pocket or something like that um, so that these aren't all the same size and the same sort of flicks amongst each other, if that makes sense. Then, and don't worry, I'll share all this stuff with you as I make it. I haven't done day number seven yet, story number seven. Um, so then I'm just adding a few more little embellishments. I really wanted to get some of these little puffies on and I thought about covering the existing rabbit, but it just didn't look quite right because they're not exactly the same. So they didn't quite work. So instead I'm doing the matching flourishes on this side and adding those there. Cause you can see, I put the little green flourishes on the other side of the tag. Um, and I played around with using some of these, um, title thickers, but just didn't really work. I was thinking about using the word joy out of joyful, but then thought, what are we going to do with the FUL? It doesn't really work for anything else. So I decided against that and thought I'd just keep playing with the stars and add some stars on this side as well. They're slightly different stars, but it's still that same kind of theme. And then this little insert is pretty much done. And I'm going to pull back the photos and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do to the photos because they're so gorgeous. I don't want to put too much on them, but I do want a little bit of embellishing on them. So I decided to put one of these title words just down along the bottom of this first photo. 
I don't think it's too sort of, I don't know, for want of a better word, offensive down on there. I don't think it detracts too much from the photo or ruins the photo itself. I think that works. And he is wonderful and the time of year is wonderful and every, the photo shoot was wonderful. So this word works. So just popping that one on. And then, of course, I can't miss out on those little gold stars. So I'm going to pop some of those on as well. And then that is done because, as I said, I don't want to do too much. And then I'm going to flick over to the other side. Do, 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 do. Oh, actually, I realized my happy coincidence that you can still see the word wonderful once the insert is in the binder too, which is just cool. And then I'm going to flick over to the other side and I'm thinking and thinking what to do. And I'm thinking just a few tiny words over on the bottom right hand side is the way to go. So I start by full, pulling a tiny word sticker that I just like and that fits with the photo. But then I thought, oh, I can't really make it into a sentence. Does it want to be a sentence? Does it not really matter? And then I realized that there is the lyric, um, the most wonderful time of the year. I'm like, that's what I want. So it's already broken up into three separate stickers, uh, which is just perfect. So that is what I have gone with. And of course, better get those little golden stars. Actually, do I go for the bigger ones? I can't even remember. No, I'm sure I go for the little golden stars. So then I pop those on and this layout is complete. So I've got the two big, um, what are they, like six by eight size uh, photos and then the one little three by four photo on the insert with the journaling. I hope you have enjoyed watching our um, tutorials and following along with our opening videos and just the whole entire series for 2022. We will, of course, be back in 2023, and who knows, we might change it up. We've done so many different things with our homemade gifts, and we love just thinking of something new to do each year. We have loved having you along with us. All of your comments and likes um, just make us feel so, so, so loved and so, so, so special, and we really, truly appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much for sticking around, and we cannot wait to see you in January. Bye, everyone.